Uh, Lucas together. Hey, welcome back. We got this all stripped up, shredded up into these little uh, pieces, basically. And what we're going to do is rinse them off little by little. So we'll have our colander here, rinse these off, just grab a handful, pop that much in a Ziploc bag, I'm guessing is good for you. Yeah. Yep. Literally, come over to the sink. Forgive us, we are at a campsite this weekend. So we are literally going to just rinse off any kind of other little bit of dirt that we found. Let this drain. Good thing we're outside because we can do this on the floor. The natural floor, that is. Let these drip off for a few minutes. All those drain. We will get ourselves a Ziploc bag. These ones here are just uh, sandwich size. And we're literally pack them in. And you could use a food saver if you want. If you uh, have a vacuum sealing system. You could, I put them at, at home. We When we do these at home for our family for the winter months, we put them in a gallon Ziploc bag. That way they're ready to go for my wife's family's famous mushroom sausage soup. So, I put uh, about a handful to a thing. To a bag. Yep. And we'll uh, get as much air out of the bag. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. <laughs> Pack them up. We'll show you how much we get here out of this. That little, uh, that was a small mushroom, by the way. So, north side of an oak tree, preferably an old oak tree. Uh, sometimes you'll find them on different varieties, but mainly oak trees. Red oak. White oak, not so much, but here in Western PA, I've found the majority of them on an old, mature red oak. Normally two to three feet diameter at the base. And you, other than that, just kind of press the air out, have your own little vacuum pack. More to come.